<laughs> Do I look like a bodybuilder yet? <laughs> What's up fellas? Emma here. Today we're doing something a little different. I've actually never done this before. You guys know I put out a lot of what I eat in the days, but today we're gonna be eating like someone else. Someone whose lifestyle is a lot different to mine. And that is Greg Doucette, Dr. Greg. I first found Dr. Greg based off of Elijah Orr's video. Now, Dr. Greg and I have more in common than I thought. He's a professional bodybuilder. Am I? Definitely not, though I think I could be. <sighs> Just kidding. But the thing that's funny is that Dr. Greg spends a lot of time on his bike, and you guys know that I do that too. He's actually very impressive on the bike. I think he actually used to do triathlons back in the day. Though I'm not a bodybuilder, today I'm gonna eat like Greg Doucette, and we're gonna try out his cookbook. I actually bought the cookbook for this video. Today I have a 75 minute bike ride later. Haven't done that yet. I actually didn't know I was gonna film this video until this morning, and I already got my Phil's coffee. This was my order. Cold brew, light cream, ice. I'm pretty sure Greg just drinks black coffee, but I don't like to drink plain bean water, so. And since I'm back in California, you know, I just wanted to get my daily fills in. Let's just start off the video. All right, let's get breakfast started. So today we're gonna be making anabolic French toast for breakfast. This is Greg's staple breakfast, and I see random bodybuilders on the internet eating this breakfast all the time, and on TikTok too. I could not tell you what anabolic means. Don't ask me, I have no idea. The ultimate anabolic cookbook. What does anabolic mean? I should have looked this up before I started. Anyways, so we're gonna double up the recipe in this cookbook because again, I have to bite for 75 minutes later and I want to be fueled. Let's get started. Okay, we're also gonna make it pumpkin flavored because it's November and I have a lot of pumpkin puree I need to uh, use up and there's no rules in Greg's kitchen, so. This actually, this recipe reminds me of something I used to make in high school, but we're starting off with some egg whites. We're going in with a cup and a half. Cup and a half of egg whites. That, oh my goodness, that's so many egg whites. <laughs> All right, next we're going in with two packets of sweetener. I'm using organic stevia and the raw. <laughs> Cause this is what I have on hand. There we go. We're going in with a teaspoon of cinnamon. I don't really measure. Teaspoon, that's a lot of cinnamon. That would be like two teaspoons of cinnamon since I'm doubling the recipe. Anyways, that's enough. I don't measure. And then we're gonna go in with some pumpkin pie spice since this is gonna be pumpkin flavored. That's a lot of pumpkin pie spice. Yikes. All right, going in with some vanilla extract. We need some salt in here. We need to bring out, where is there no salt in this recipe? I'm putting salt in it. We need to bring out the sweetness, you know? A little bit of salt. Use up some of this pumpkin puree I have. Let's go in with about, I don't know, that much? That's a big spoonful. Let's get in our vitamin A. All right, now we're gonna stir it on up. This is gonna be the French toast marinade. <laughs> The French toast marinade. Does this look good? All right, we're gonna go in with some butter bread that I have on hand at my parents' house. We're gonna marinate it, throw it on the skillet. Look at this nice skillet though. Doesn't it look just perfect for French toast? This is gonna make so many pieces of French toast. Let's do three more. See how that adds up. Okay, I think I'm gonna tap out at six. We've got a lot of leftover egg whites gonna throw it on there. <laughs> I'm just gonna cook the egg whites. <laughs> All right, let's flip them. Ooh! It's looking pretty done here. I'm just gonna start plating it up. This is a little controversial. We're going in with the uh, sugar-free syrup, which I don't really use this stuff because it kind of scares me. But you know what? We're just going in with it, because why not? Dr. Greg says so, so we're doing it. Okay, whoa, kind of fire. Look at how good that, okay, that kind of looks actually fire. Do you know who Dr. Greg is on YouTube, Ellie? Wait, I kind of want one. <laughs> Ellie wants one, okay, Ooh. here we go. That's fire, so dude. Good. Do you want to try a bite? <laughs> All right. Mmm. Thoughts? Dude, that's good. 
really good. You heard it here first. Oh Ellie, my God. <laughs> Ellie approves of the anabolic French toast. So maybe go give it a shot for yourself. Wait, that's actually really good. It's so moist. I thought it was gonna be. What would you give it on a, out of 10, Ellie? Nine. I would say nine out of 10 for the breakfast. All right, I'm gonna eat this. See you guys at lunch or snack. About to go bike. I'm only waiting 75 minutes today because I've been having some glute medius problems. Um, yeah, my right butt cheek has been really sore, so that sounds wrong. Anyways, so I'm only going 75 minutes. Sorry, Greg, I'm not going harder or faster than last time. It's going to be really easy. I'm keeping my heart rate like 135 or below. You'll put in that work, that bodybuilding work. Let's get after it. Feeling good. 26.62 miles. Oh my gosh, a marathon. 85 minutes. Whoops. Solid ride today. I felt good. Definitely went a little bit harder than I should. Whoops. Sue me. All right, back home. Everyone doesn't believe I have a brother, Steven. Whoa. Stop. For lunch today, we're making some of Greg's famous wraps. I am really hungry and my stomach is really growling. So today I'm making turkey wraps with deli turkey. I haven't had deli turkey in so long. It's gonna be like a turkey ranch wrap because we're going crazy up in this bit. Anyways, I'm gonna cut up some cucumber. I'm gonna put some red onion, Oscar Mayer deli turkey. Got some of this Fat-free cheddar, which I feel like cheese should have fat in it. You know, what is it made out of if it, <laughs> if cheddar cheese doesn't have fat in it? But we're gonna go with it because we're bodybuilder for today. We're gonna use some of these wraps. These are really good, actually. I think I'm gonna make two. Sure, there we go. All right, going in with some of the mysterious cheese. There we go. Now we're going in with some, this ranch dressing is so good. It's Bolt House Classic Ranch Dressing. It's made with yogurt, perfect. It's really good. I've been using this dressing for years. Next up, let's chop up our veggies. Dr. Greg eats a lot of vegetables. Going in with the veggies. I don't even know if these wraps are gonna close. Cucumber and red onion, just spring, sprinkle that on there. My breath's gonna smell like onion for the rest of the day. That's a confirmed fact. Okay, this looks kind of beautiful. Like, eat the rainbow, am I right? <laughs> Next up on the list, some iceberg lettuce. Load up the lettuce on there. Go in with some spinach as well for our dark leafy greens for the day. One of the things that is kind of weird is that um, Dr. Greg microwaves this. It, this, all these foods don't seem like they should be microwaved. Like he even microwaves the vegetables. Let's do it anyways. A minute maybe? They're done in the microwave. Let's wrap them up now. I don't know if, I feel like this is gonna break. All right, everyone predict in the comments. Is this gonna break or is this, <laughs> is this gonna hold up? Oh no. Come on, come on, come on. Give it to me, yeah. Oh, it's breaking. <laughs> okay, they kind of held up. Sure. Oh, they're definitely breaking. All right, whatever. Okay. You know, it's not the most aesthetically pleasing meal. Let's see how it tastes. Welcome to Emma's kitchen. Oh my goodness, it's falling apart. That's fire. This is pretty good. I kind of forgot how much I love wraps or like sandwiches. I don't eat them that much, but I really like them. <clears throat> so good. I already finished the first one. That took me about two minutes max. And I'm just really glad that I have a second one to enjoy because that was really good. I give it a 9.5 out of 10. I don't even think I would change anything about it. I'm gonna enjoy my second one. Go make a wrap, you know? They're really good. 9.5 out of 10. It's 5 p.m. I'm feeling a little bit peckish, but I also don't wanna eat a savory dinner. So, that being said, we're gonna make 
anabolic ice cream. I still should have looked up what anabolic means. So Greg doesn't use a Vitamix, but that's all I have. I'm sorry, Greg. If you're watching this, my ninja is back at home, but this Vitamix has seen better days. It was burned on the stove. But it'll do the job, it'll do the job. And this recipe actually distinctly reminds me of something I used to make in high school when I first started eating healthy and I needed more protein in my diet. And okay, so we're just going in with a lot of strawberries here. It's like two cups worth, three cups. A lot of frozen strawberries. Ice. And a lot of it. We're going in with two thirds cup. I only have unsweetened coconut milk with me. And this is like a giant scoop of protein. Whey protein to be exact, which, was, which is what makes it super fluffy. I'm also gonna go in with about two tablespoons of powdered peanut butter because I love peanut butter. And, but of course, we're going in with some more sweetener. We love our sweeteners today, don't we? All right, there's also, you're supposed to put xanthan gum in here, but I, can, I literally cannot because I will be bloated for five days after, so. Voila. This is like, exactly what I used to make back in the day in high school. I'll insert a picture, I definitely have a picture of me eating this and a giant salad back in high school when I first started learning how to cook for myself. So this brings me back to old times. And the Greg Doucette way is to put this over your head and it shouldn't fall because it should be that thick. Even though there's no xanthan gum in it, I really think it won't fall, so here we go. Oh my gosh. We're gonna put it in a bowl and add some whipped cream on top because I'm feeling kind of crazy today. Man, this really takes me back in time. I'm teleported back to 2014. It's pretty thick, very voluminous as you can see. Going in with some whipped cream because I'm a sucker for whipped cream. I literally love it. Here's my dinner. It's the size of my head. Whipped cream is literally my favorite. This is gonna be like strawberry milkshake. Rating this on a scale of one to 10, I would give it an eight. It's supposed to be ice cream and to me, it tastes like, it's definitely like a smoothie. I mean, it tastes like a protein smoothie, but the whipped cream helps. I'm gonna be so full after eating this, but I recommend if you want a little treat. And with that, I'm gonna end the video. I'm definitely not gonna be hungry after that. This is gonna be my last meal of the day which I only ate three times today, which is a little abnormal to me. I woke up super late, so that's probably why. I hope you guys enjoyed this style of video or maybe got some new ideas for recipes for yourself, even though they were a little out of my comfort zone. You know, I don't usually opt for the bodybuilding style meals, but Greg, you changed my mind, you're a chef, and I'll definitely be incorporating some of these meals into my routine. Bring back 2014 smoothie bowls for me. I definitely feel like I got in my bodybuilding gains for the day. Um, feeling a lot more like a bodybuilder. <laughs> next, I just need to start pumping iron in the gym and maybe, maybe that's the next step to becoming a bodybuilder. If you guys like this style of video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you wanna see more of this kind of content. I post a lot of food content on my channel, so if you're interested in food, just check it out or follow me on my food Instagram at OneCrazeFoodie. I'm gonna go finish my delicious smoothie bowl and go to bed because I've got a long bike ride in the morning. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out, fellas.